At any given moment, the 2,200 staff of South West London and St George's Mental Health Trust are caring for 20,000 people, helping them recover from mental health issues and allowing them to move on with their lives and thrive. Our amazing staff work tirelessly across many London locations to live up to our core values. We are respectful, open, consistent, compassionate and collaborative. The most rewarding part of my job is every day I get to come in to work and care for people in their most vulnerable states. Around a year ago I was referred a young man called Chris by our team psychiatrist who'd been with the team for over a decade and we were trying to look at ways of helping him recover and rebuild his life. I was diagnosed with schizophrenia and psychosis and was taking medication. I met Paul at Springfield Hospital and we started to talk about our hopes and dreams and aspirations. Chris's core values were helping people and, and what gave him true value and what gave him joy was being able to make a difference. Paul stated to me that there was a job vacancy as a co-facilitator helping people with depression and schizophrenia. I was really excited and happy about this opportunity because it was the one thing I was looking for. He was ecstatic and very joyful. In fact, the joy he expressed was, was unparalleled. It was very uh, significant and I'm able to be a source of inspiration for them and give them the hope that they need to continue and to be who they want to be in life. So by engaging Chris on this level, he was able to then take back control of his life. If it wasn't for the support of Paul and the trust, I wouldn't be able to do the job that I do today. Mental health problems affect everyone at some point in their life. At any one time, one in four people will suffer from a mental health problem. It's been the difference between probably being alive and not, so yeah, the trust is very important to me. We're a clinical trust and we care about patients and their families. We here treat people as individuals. We treat them with respect and dignity. So we have some very specialist services, services for, for people who are deaf, people who have obsessive compulsive disorders or eating disorders. So really specialist services that uh, aren't provided everywhere else. Society has moved a long way on other things, but there's still a stigma around mental health. It's really important that we tackle stigma discrimination. If people understand that it's okay to have a mental health problem and it's okay to ask the GP for support and it's okay to use our services for that support, then that's a good thing. We were voted one of the top places to work in the NHS and I think that's because of the staff here. Always going that extra mile and it's really good to see the impact that staff can have on people's lives. I feel I'm very fortunate to have a great team to work with and they share with me the passion and the love that I have for this job. It's just an amazing uh, experience being a nurse here at the Trust. This is a really exciting time for us at the Trust. We're developing state-of-the-art hospitals that will make a huge difference to the local community. These will be some of the best inpatient facilities in the country. We spend a lot of time designing them, working with staff, with patients, to look at what the best facilities can be. The Trust will invest around about £160 million in both Springfield and Tolworth sites. The Springfield site will involve a significant regeneration. We're going to deliver over 800 houses, a 32-acre park with green and open space for the local community. We're investing £5 million in local public transport and we're going to hand over some land for a new two-form entry primary school. On the Tolworth site, we'll be investing around about £80 million worth in the new hospital. That will involve four new working age adult acute wards, an OCD BDD ward and also a CAMS facility, which is Children and Adolescent Mental Health Services. The State Modernisation Programme will revolutionise mental health services in South West London for generations to come. The new buildings are going to be open, the cafes will be accessible by local people and actually the community will be walking through some of our services and that's really, really at the heart of what we're trying to do. We're bringing the community into our hospitals and actually being part of what, what we do. Patients here need inspiration and I think with the Hospital Rooms project coming in it's, it's kind of a bit like a catalyst. 
art within the healthcare sphere can have a positive impact. So things like reducing hospital stays, lowering blood pressure, reducing the need for pain medication, and also increasing empathy between healthcare providers and service users. So a really exciting time to be at this organisation. Uh, really exciting time to join the Trust as well. We currently employ over 2,000 staff. We have amazing opportunities in terms of accommodation, in terms of training opportunities, and we're quite interested in developing future leaders within the organisation. It's fantastic when we get new people coming in and joining the team, particularly young people with bright new ideas who want to shake us up and want to argue with everything we do and, and put us on our toes, and that's good for us. The most important thing that I want people to understand is that we provide safe, excellent and consistent services here. A lot of the time it's easy to feel like nothing is ever going to help and it's good to know that there is something that will help you get better. A retired healthcare assistant brought to us to say, I worked in NHS and hospitals for 50 years of my life but what I saw here was how people are treated with respect and dignity. Our mission is making life better together.